All right, guys, in today's video, we are briefly talking three ways that you can keep your lawn green, vigorous, and thick compared to all of the lawns around you, even in the most stressful time. Let's go. First things first is mowing. I have been mowing this lawn regularly all throughout the season here. I've actually been mowing it as often as once to twice a week and I've been cutting it tall actually. This is Kentucky bluegrass and as I've talked about before, uh, while I prefer to have the bluegrass a little bit shorter down to about three, three and a half inches this time of year, I've actually been experimenting and cutting my own lawn at around 3.75, four inches and I actually find my Kentucky bluegrass to do a lot better in the summertime too when I cut it taller because again, you're getting more grass blades in there to number one, shade the roots and number two, provide a little bit of photosynthesis. Now while we're talking about photosynthesis, that allows me to transition to my second thing that I've been doing to this lawn regularly and that is fertilization. If you've seen any of the videos that I put out where I talked about why your neighbor's lawns might be a little bit greener than yours, uh, the number one reason for that most of the time is lack of adequate fertilization. More specifically, getting in three elements that can actually help keep your lawn nice, double dark green and thick. That is nitrogen, iron, and potassium. You see those three working together really do wonders to keep your lawn green. If you'd like to learn a little more in detail about that, I will link up here in the eye in the top right corner as well as down in the description below to that video where I talk about that. But in summary, just keep up your fertilizing every four to six weeks. And I promise you, if you do that all throughout the season, your grass is going to look as good as this. Now, of course, it's not going to look this good without watering, right? Watering is very, very important to your turf. You see, when it comes to plant life and lawn life and anything along those lines, water is king, right? Sure, you can mow it, sure, you can fertilize it, but if it's not raining and you're not watering it regularly, the lawn is not going to look good. So you need to make sure that you're watering it enough. As I've talked about before, you wanna be watering the lawn two to three times a week, and you wanna get down at least a half inch of water each time you do it. Now, some of you might be like, okay, Jake, how do I know whether I need to water two times a week or three times a week, right? Um, well, a good thing to go by is mother nature. If you're actually getting a little bit of rain help on a regular basis, then I recommend watering two days out of the week, like maybe Monday and Thursday or Monday and Friday, or even Tuesday and Friday, however you wanna space it out based on the weather that's going on around you. Now, if you're not getting any rain help whatsoever, kinda of like I am here in the Midwest, then and it is a great idea to go ahead and go full bore with the watering. Three days a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, every single week, getting down a half inch each time. Now, some of you might be like, Jake, how do I know if I'm getting down a half inch of water? Well, a good thing to do when you don't know that is to actually run your sprinklers for a certain amount of time, take a little cup, I don't have them with me, but a cup or a tuna can or something like that, place it in the middle of the sprinkler stream and see how long it takes to fill it up to about a half inch mark if you have that on the cup, which by the way, uh, laundry, laundry detergent cups and tuna cans, those are about a half inch to an inch deep, which actually makes it fairly easy to figure out how long it will take to fill that up to a half inch. So anyway, go ahead and take that, put it in the middle of the sprinkler stream, whatever sprinkler you're using, and see how long it takes to fill that up to the half inch mark. If you do that, you will be okay with your watering. So that in a nutshell, folks, is how I keep this lawn green, vigorous, and thick all throughout the summer. Just some thoughts I wanted to share with you guys real quick because I get questions a lot, such as, Jake, how do you keep the lawn looking that nice? So. In summary, guys, that's pretty much it, right? Just make sure you're mowing properly, make sure you're watering properly, and make sure you're fertilizing properly, and everything will be okay. So that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like, leave a comment down below. Let us know what you thought about it. If you have any additional questions or comments, leave those down below as well. Love to start a conversation with you guys and help you guys in any way that I can. With that, I'm Jake the Long Kid. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Later.